please get ready for a dictation of exercise number 20 from legal material 5 seconds start the petitioner in his revision raised all the aforesaid issues and further questioned the correctness of proportionality on the ground of sub rule 3 of rule 29 that a different punishment ought to have been awarded. He further raised the issue that if the second marriage was not permissible in law, then it was void and a void marriage cannot be made the basis for invoking the provision of Rule 29, which contemplates a valid bigamous relationship. The petitioner submitted that no evidence was led by the department to dislodge the stand of the petitioner that he had sought permission. And since no evidence was led, therefore, the procedure adopted by the respondents is defective and no inference of not having sought valid permission could have been drawn. The issue of proportionality was again repeated, but the revisional authority negatived all these contentions by recording clear findings. It was further found by the revising authority that sub rule 3 of rule 29 had already been deleted through a notification dated 2010 1976 and therefore a lesser punishment could not have been awarded. The question of marriage being void was also turned down on the ground that the conduct of the petitioner of having the company of another woman and be getting a child out of the said relationship under any circumstance cannot be accepted as a circumstance to avoid punishment of misconduct in as much as the petitioner had according to his own admission contracted the second marriage taking an overall view of the situation the inspector general of police did not find the punishment to be disproportionate and upheld the orders under challenge shri k m tripathi learned counsel for the petitioner has advanced his submissions to the best of his abilities and he has submits that apart from the correctness of the orders that have been assailed the petitioner has been punished disproportionately which shocks the conscience in the given background of the case and therefore the orders impugned are liable to be set aside. Learning Standing Council, on the other hand, urged that the petitioner, having admitted the second marriage, it is not open to him to question the factual basis of the same to gain any advantage by raising a legal argument. 
it is submitted on behalf of the state that the action of the petitioner was a clear case of misconduct and the same having been discovered after more than 25 years does not in any way dilute the misconduct committed by the petitioner there is no dilution of the impact of rule 29 merely because of passage of time and the consequences have to be accepted in law learned standing council relied on two decisions to contend that the guilt having been established the petitioner has been clearly found to have committed a misconduct and therefore the punishment is not disproportionate it is submitted that the petitioner has voluntarily entered into the second marriage and there was no such legal compulsion or any other justification available to petitioner in law so as to justify his conduct of second marriage stop